to Starships and Steel, helping your game look its best. Today we have another quick craft for you. This is another in the series of videos for the Tomb of Fahim Khan. When the players have entered into his final chamber, he is surrounded by a guard of mummies. And those mummies are laying in coffins. You could use cardboard tokens to represent these coffins, but I think it would be more fun to take a knife and some styrofoam and cut some simple shapes, paint them up, and have a 3D representation of them on the field. So, that's what we're going to do today. So, if you want to follow me up into my craft room, we will get started. All right, first let's get our miniature and we'll use him to measure the size of these coffins because we've got to fit a body in there. I need like four of these things, so let's just cut four pieces of foam until they're the right size. One more to go. This one's a little bit bigger. Measure it off the other ones. Take the razor knife. Cut them to size. Awesome. There we go. All right, take a little pen. Mark these kind of in the same place so that the... Uh, widest parts pretty much in the same place in all four coffins here we go cut 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 a little bit of a caveat here I've been drinking tonight but you know I, I can still do this no problem these are pretty basic not gonna be special but they'll do the job alright four little coffin shaped pieces of foam next to miniature next to them here we go we gotta you know paint these uh, oh let's put some detail on these make them a little bit more interesting Bit of border inside them. Use a razor knife to uh, get that. This knife's not that sharp. It's not working that good, but I, I advise getting the sharpest knife you have or replacing the blade if you have one. I don't have one. This works okay. You got your pen. Go over those lines and you know make them a little bit more dented in. Maybe some some dots in there. A little bit more uh, detailed texture. If you had some beads, you could glue them on the front, make it look cool looking. We'll just take the blade and run it along the sides to make it look like it opens up. They don't open up, but they look like they do, which is good enough for when the uh, mummies come out to attack your players. If, you know, that's the angle you're going for. <laughs> of course that's the angle you're going for. Okay, all four of those guys all cut up, ready to go. Some uh, paintbrush out there, some black paint. We'll just nail those with... Uh, a bit of that. There we go. Keep going. Brush these up with some paint. There we go. You keep going. Oh yeah, nice and black. Black's good base color. All right, pretty cool. All right. It's kind of mesmerizing watching that brush go that fast, right? A little fast forward. Good stuff. All right, get that on there. So it's pretty much covered. Get all those spaces covered, you know, and then let them dry. We'll get some uh, gray. We'll just go in with a bit of a dry brush to cover those up. You know, pick up the details. Nothing hugely special here. And one more to go. Awesome. So then I got a little bit of uh, the cloud uh, color that I use, which is the lighter gray color I have. And I just, you know, I, I uh, highlighted the edges, make them look kind of cool. I did a little bit more in the end. Not, maybe I went too far. I don't know. But whatever. They still look okay. They get the point across better than like a flat piece of card or a little counter. Hey, everyone, these are coffins. Yeah, sure they are. These at least look like coffins. That's good. People will know when they walk in that room and you set up that miniatures uh, terrain stuff. They'll know that there's coffins in there that probably are going to get attacked by some undead creatures. The cleric coat, right? Turn undead. Good luck. Ha <laughs> ha, suckers. These will help you give your players a challenging combat encounter with some undead. All right, a little bit more. Not quite happy with them still. In the end of the day, I really wasn't completely happy with these, but uh, they'll do the job. I was just going to use my uh, 
sarcophagus I got with the uh, Conan game, but uh, I only got two of them apparently. I need four, so that won't work. So I'll just make a couple, make four of them so they all match. That's cool. There they go. All right, miniature next to them. That's how they look. Let's take a look in with these things. The miniature in there, walk in for some scale. Yeah, no, they're all right. They'll do the job. The next we'll get a little video how they look with uh, the rest of this project. So, and here we have our adventurer moving towards the tomb with her horse. And there's the tomb entrance. You can see the little brickwork going in there. Looks pretty dark and scary. Probably be some undead in there. Here we have her coming in, entering the tomb through the entranceway. There she is, halfway down the corridor. You see the coffins we just built. And there she is, right next to a coffin for some scale. So, again, these aren't super hard or super beautiful, but they look better than a 2D flat piece of cardboard. So, if you like what I have to say today, please give me a like. And if you want to see more, I'd love a subscribe from you. And hopefully we'll see you on the next video when we build some Dark Ages forest huts. See you guys then.